take a look inside. I apologize for the lighting. I re started recording this during the daytime and then life happens when you have two kids. So it is now the evening and I'm just using my kitchen light above. So let's take a look at the inside. I wanted to share how I set it up and how I'm setting up my August planner or what I'm doing for August. So as you know, if you saw my other um, videos, I was using the Chic Sparrow field note size and I wanted to try the personal size to have a little bit more space. I kept the field note size um, zipper pocket and this is from Midori. The, well, it's actually passport size, but I kept that in here along with my calendar that I'm using for forward planning. So this is my monthly calendar that goes all the way up to January 2016. Now, I've been looking, I, I, want, I was thinking about doing, a, reprinting a personal size calendar, but I figured I'm not gonna do that until January because I like that I have everything for the year in here. So it's like a keepsake, even though I probably won't look at it again, but it is a keepsake I have from January and I'll have all the way until December. And if I'm late, I still have January 2016 to forward plan for. So that's that. I still keep this in there. And then it is the last day of July that I'm recording this. And I initially was going to go ahead and finish my notebook and do August. And you can see I even set up my August overview and my weekly but I was too excited and I really wanted to get into the, this personal size. So I'm keeping this in here for now as um, my notes or like a little notebook, scratch book, because I still have pages in here. And it, again, the whole purpose of this is that I really want to try to not be wasteful with all these products that I keep buying. So I wanna make sure that I use my entire notebook all the way to the end. So I'm keeping this in here until I'm done with it. I am actually, I kind of like it being small. So what I plan to do is when this is done, I'm going to put an actual field notes notebook in here because those are slightly thinner. This one is the Orla Kylie one that I got from Barnes and Noble. And it's a little bit thick and th it's even thicker because I use some washi, but this is thicker than a field notes notebook. Okay, so my next insert is going to be my planner insert. And then I guess I'll go over that first. I just made a cover out of an old file folder that I really liked. It has boxes on it and it was from Paper Chase. I got it a long time ago. I don't know where I even got it, but I like it. So I cut it up and made it as just as my cover. So this insert here is going to be my planner. And this insert itself was a notebook that I purchased from Butea Bunker. Um, this journaling card is from Happy Scrappy. I subscribed to her Happy Scrappy kit for the Traveler's Notebook. Now the inserts that come with it are regular size, so I haven't used them, or I've only gotten one actually so far, one month so far. But the journaling cards in there are very cute, so I put that in there just to cover the front. And then here is my August planner insert, or the beginning of August. So as with bullet journaling, I have my index. Um, this page right here is my bill tracker and I pulled it from, if you can see, it's gridded. This is from the very first notebook that I started and then I had cut it out and tipped it in or just taped it with washi into this notebook while I was using it for the month of July, end of, I guess, June and July. And now that I'm moving into this notebook for August, I just took it out and stuck it in here with washi tape because I do plan to take it all the way till December. So. This is my little bill tracker to check off when I pay my bills. Next page, I plan to do important phone numbers. I know I have a cell phone, but there are times where like, you know, what if your battery in your cell phone dies and you can't have access to if, um, your contacts, but you have somebody else's cell phone. And I have found with the age of cell phones, no one memorizes phone numbers anymore. So I'm going to write down important phone numbers, doctor, dentist, loved ones, my child's school. She's starting kindergarten, so now I will need to know that. Running task list. I plan to transfer over my running task list from this notebook into onto this page. Now here is August. So I set it up the traditional bullet journal way as my overview with the dates and the days of the week. And I'm starting with birthdays and I'm going to fill in days as they um, as things happen or as appointments come by just so that I have a nice overview to look at. 
Um, sorry, I keep flipping back and forth. I was going to show my July one, but it's clipped. Maybe I can do it real quickly. For July, what I had started doing was going back and filling in, like if we went anywhere or anything like that too. So it's just to look at a quick overview of the month. So that is August. And then see, I have a lot more space now. Like if you look at July, I had I did a two page spread and it took me onto both side or both pages. For August, I have all of this and plus I had room, so I added my monthly goals. So these are my August goals, what I want plan to do for this month. Now, this is what I'm doing differently than what I have done with the field notes one. If you watch my previous video, what I would do is I would do a weekly layout, oops, a weekly layout, and then the next, the following pages would be where I do my to-dos. This time, I'm going to try something different, and I actually got the idea from an Instagram I saw. I think it's Mel Meliana Bell, Bell or something like that. I will post it down in the description so that you can take a look at some of her photos if you're on Instagram. But she has a layout so that it's weekly, just like this. Hers is a lot more prettier. Um, the top part is for appointments, and then the bottom part is where she does her or her bullet journal checklist, her to-do list. And I like this because I can write down my to-dos because sometimes I know what I need to do three days later, not necessarily the following day. And in the past, what I was doing is I was doing my to-dos like the day before. This time I can at least plan out my to-dos for the week. So I have, I did it for the entire month of August. So my plan I kept, I stuck with this layout. I, I like that vertical look. I got used to it with the Erin Condren planner. So, but this time I have my appointments here and this is going to be my, be my bullet journal type of to do my check off. So I'm going to make my boxes here. And then I filled out the calendar for, or my weekly pages for the entire month of August. I went up to August 30th. The 31st will start with September. Now I stopped there because the following pages will be for whatever I want to do. If I need to make another list or if I want to journal, I haven't decided if I want to journal in this book yet or in a different one, but whatever it is, it's going to follow after August. So everything I know I'm doing in the following pages happen in the month of August. And once September rolls around, I will start with a September overview. So I kind of keep the whole month together, but with the planner pages all lumped in together and then those random notes that I do throughout the booklet or throughout the month right after the month and then September will start and I hope to I hope I think this is it I think this is the setup that I like so that's what I've done and maybe a few more things um so I washi I only washi the monthly page so that it's easy to find I guess once I have more months in there I keep returning to this page. This is just a list of journal prompts that I want to start journaling or writing in August. But anyways, if you purchased the Erin Condren stickers, this layout is wide enough for those stickers. So I started using these page flags to mark my weeks and then I wanted to see if those quote stickers fit. It fits perfectly. So I think if you have um, on Etsy, there's a lot of sellers that do stickers that fit into the vertical size for Erin Condren, it will fit into these boxes. Um, yeah, and this is a personal sized insert. So if you just divide the page in half, because this is going across from here to here is about three and three quarters, according to the measurements of personal size, you divide it in half, you'll have enough space to put those um, stickers that were meant for, I guess, Erin Condren or Plum Paper Planners, the vertical one. So that works out so I wanted to show that to you so that is it and I plan to do very minimal decorating as far as washi I'm into the whole hand lettering and all that stuff and so I this is my way of practicing some people like to decorate their weeks with stickers and washi tape and whatnot I'll throw in the stickers here and there but you can see like I started off with some just block lettering and then I wanted to try stamp the stamps up so I decided to hey let me try my my brush pen practice and I really like it. So that's what I did for the headers of the days for the remainder of the month. But that's that insert. So that's the third one. And then, oh, this notebook cover, 
I forgot who, there was somebody on Instagram, I got this idea from her, but this is just a fold over. I was initially going to make it a folder by taping the sides, but I'm gonna keep it as a fold over, um, as like a page holder. So if that's the week I'm on, I just fold it over and I can quickly turn to that page. Now, and then here I have an Ollie clip holding some extra papers. These are also from Happy Scrappy. It came from that same set where I got the journaling card on the front. She has really cute stuff, so if you are able to get on her subscription list, I actually recommend it. It ships from Malaysia, Malaysia so it comes late. I haven't received my July kit yet, but that's that. And then the third book, I haven't figured out what to do with it yet because I do have this book as my... Um, scratch notebook or whatever notebook this one I may do my journaling in I thought I was I initially thought I was going to do it here but I think I'm going to keep my journaling separate and possibly journal in here so that's what that is so those are my inserts and just some other things again this is just a pocket from um, the, it's a Midori sticker pocket that I put there some target post-its those of you who have those collections I you have so many if you like to switch out what I do is I take just a few of one and then a few of another and then I stick stick them back to back so that the sticky ends are opposite each other and I have two types of post-its there and then when this runs out I can put more or use a different one because I have too many of those target dollar spot post-its uh, that's that my little charm is from Mahal made uh, I think she has an Etsy shop, but I got this from her. I ordered it through her Instagram, I think, her Instagram account. I'll include that in the links below, too. But that is basically it. That is the inside of my planner. I keep calling it a journal. This is a journal cover, notebook cover, but it's my planner. Um, I don't want to overstuff it. Like I said, eventually I'm going to take this out and put a field note size, which is probably half as thick as this. So it won't be so bulky, but I'm pretty happy with it right now. And I don't mind that this part is smaller. It's okay with me. And that's it. Oh, one more thing. This was a free insert that I got inside the planner, by the way. The cover from Teo Bunker. It's just blank paper. So I believe all her notebook covers come with one free insert. It's just paper. So that is it. I hope that this gives you some ideas to jump on and just do your own thing. I'm trying to make sense of how I'm using the planner community to make planning useful for me. And this is what works for me. And I really like this layout. What, what really worked for me was a whole to-do list with the bullet journaling. And now that I saw this type of layout, I think this is going to be perfect. And if there are any changes or any, if I come up with anything new, I'll be sure to post a video maybe. And thanks for all of those who have started to subscribe. I didn't think that I would do more videos, but because you guys have been so kind to subscribe, I will make more. So hope you had some ideas from this. Take what you need to, do what you wanna do with your own, make it you and make it useful because we spend so much money on these things because they're pretty, but they need to be practical. And that's it for now. Take care, bye-bye.